cut in some brackets. So getting ready to weld these up, um, decided to, there's a pin that, big pin right there that goes in the dolly. I have to have this one and seven eighths quarter wall DOM, um, odd size, normally it's two inch quarter wall is what we use before wheeling for lengths, but we had some of this left over. Dad got it from a plant, TRW. Long years ago, they they bought some for some pilot. Um, so I'm getting ready to try to get these as straight as I can. Um, and then the tube inside will still slide so I can center it up. And then once it's all centered, it should be center of the cross width between those 165 inches. Um, which means when I get it up high, I should be able to put all this together and it fit and it go back and forth smoothly. We shall see, but I was gonna get a plate and bolt it. I realized I'm just welding and bolting. I'm just, I had an extra work, so I thought, well, I'll just weld it directly to this beam, because that's all this beam's gonna do. And I should have enough uh, room to, for everything to fit on the carriages if I did it all my math right, which I think I did. So I'm gonna get a few tack welds in here and try to get these welded in place do some more measure and if everything looks good I'll burn them in for solid final tonight and then I'm gonna try to I'd like to put some paint on this tonight uh, I'm not sure if I will or not might wait till tomorrow to paint it but I want to get this thing hanging up and done that'll be the last thing and then I should and then I'll put one dolly on this thing be good. this one I had welded these up um, this one they both I left the pins floating free still hot uh, that way when I put them on the in between the gantry, see there's a little bit of room to move back and forth to where the, if I didn't get it perfectly centered, I still got a little bit of fudge room, um, you know, at least a, a half inch on each side. Uh, this side's actually got a little more fudge room, which is good. And uh, Basically, here's one of these markers on the steel. This is real USA steel, uh, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, it's actually got the you can see the marking it's like eight something by four by 24 is what this beam was originally uh, pretty pretty neat stuff it's came out of international playing card and label in rogersville which is a plant i worked at in a high school um, so it's kind of cool it's turned into another another place or another thing uh, trying to get this cleaned up a little bit flipped over i'm going to paint it tonight and let it dry and then tomorrow i'll be trying to hang her up so I worked on the beam tonight that actually goes across there. I guess it's the bridge for the bridge crane. Um, got it all welded and painted. Um, put it up tomorrow maybe is my goal. And that way I can get this thing kind of off the, off the plate and uh, clean up the garage a little bit and have this out of the way. And next week's Thanksgiving, so I'm hoping to do some other stuff around the house, not this. Um, maybe I'll have this up and be able to pick up some with it. So, uh, but pretty happy with it. I think it's going to be a pretty nice um, piece. I'll have to cut down the stuff for the trolleys tomorrow to be able to get them on. Um, but I'm, and I'll have to kind of harmonize how I put all that stuff up. Um, but I think I've worked it all out in my head. So we'll see what tomorrow looks like. Just finished putting up the uh, last beam. Let's see if I can see it here. Right there. Right there. And then right there. All the way across. It's uh, I've still got to really secure the the bottoms. Now that I've got the distance at the top right, I'll work on getting one edge in totally plumb and then the other in plumb sort of roll back and forth real easy um, for uh, cinch everything down as tight as it'll go that way uh, everything's good and hopefully good and straight it's uh, all the beams are up barely got any room with that light um, right up there right there I mean you can see how close it is it's super tight but uh, I don't know, even half an inch is enough room, I guess, with this thing. It shouldn't move much once I get it up there as far as up and down. So I'm going to work on um, 
It'll work on basically just getting everything tightened up now so it's one solid unit and not just kind of loosely bolted together. And uh, then I'll be able to pick stuff up. Still got to find the trolley and the winch for the main beam. Um, that should be good. Back. Worked on the bridge crane a little more today. Finished that mainly yesterday, but tightened all the bolts up um, on the bottom. I've still got to drill a few, but everything seems to be pretty close to plumb. Um, got it up and seem to be able to uh, move it. So it's heavy, but it does move. I decide I'm going to have to move that top shelf. I can't put anything on that top shelf up there anymore. Not enough room. Extend basically all the way across this bay. And then I'll put one more trolley going across that way with a winch on it. And do some wiring if I'm going to do electric. Don't know if I'm going to do that or not. Essentially have it up there and done. Barely clears that light. That's it. I'll probably leave it parked over on this side of the garage most of the time uh, with the stuff out of the way on the side. <laughs>